Hey guys, so Dash of Blanco is at it again, and I made some roasted chicken for the first time. Roasted chicken is on the menu. So you wanna start off by seasoning up your meats, and I'm gonna take a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, I listed it below or somewhere on the screen. Now, what you wanna do when seasoning, first off, let's talk about seasoning. I'm trying to come out with my own seasoning. Um, I'm trying to get the flavors and everything together. So I hope you guys do support that. But let's get back on topic. So you want to take whatever is in your cabinet. If you don't have the seasonings that I am using, trust me, whatever is in your cabinet besides salt and pepper, you can use it on this roasted chicken. Now, I know I'm a little bit heavy here when it comes to my seasoning, but that's because black people love flavor. We love the taste seasoning, okay? So you wanna marinate this for at least one hour. I marinated mine for two hours. The longer, the better. And I'm just gonna shake it up, shake it up, toss it on up, make sure all that seasoning is mixed in. Now, I got this roasted pan with the rack from Big Lots. Um, Big Lots is like a little mini Walmart. So I got this for $20. They have everything like basically on sale. Um, for a discounted price, I should say. And I was just so excited when I seen this in the store. I was like, oh my God, this would be great for my cooking, okay? And I always want to do something different than what I usually make. So this was pretty good and I love rotisserie chicken so you want to just make sure it is nicely done on the rack spread them out now I'm using my homemade green sauce this sauce is banging it's just a bunch of green veggies smooth it on up um, in the blender and yeah that's what I'm gonna use and it's so good it smells so good I usually just put it in the freezer and use it when I need it, so it won't go bad. Then you wanna season it up a little bit more so it looks pretty when it comes out the oven. So, um, then you're going to take, okay, the olive oil. The olive oil is gonna give it that nice juicy flavor, that nice crisp flavor on top. And I know I'm cheating. I am using already pre-cut, pre-made, um, what is this? Vegetables, so it came with onions, a little bit of peppers, lemon, carrots, sweet potato. Because I didn't feel like cutting this up. So they had it already cut up, pre-made, and yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna still act like I cut everything up myself. Then you're gonna toss that in the oven for three hours, I'm gonna tell you. Let's do it for two and a half, three hours. This is how it look in one hour and this is how it look when it is done and ready to eat y'all the chicken was so damn juicy on the inside um and just nicely flavored on the outer side then you know you gotta mix it in with some rice and beans and platanos and you got a full meal i hope you guys enjoyed this give this video a thumbs up thank you